Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing workflow. So if you have watched my previous video that I made on Wand 2.1 Fun, that uh, was the Control Net model. So you would have some idea about this workflow. So it is using pretty similar techniques and things, but with this model, we can actually upload a first frame and a last frame. and then give a complete like uh, text at uh, the text prompt and we can create something like this and it is pretty good and decent and i am using the 1.3 billion parameter model so i'll explain everything in this workflow and do not worry you'll get the links to this workflow and all of the models in the description box below so this is the model that i am using this is one 2.1 fun 1.3 billion and this is the interpolation in painting so you can do interpolation and uh, in painting with this particular model now uh, 1.3 billion parameter you will see is around the, you have to download this one and i have renamed it 3.13 gb so you can easily use it on uh, like your laptop's vram if it has 6 gb vram or 8 gb vram I am using this on RTX 4060 8 GB VRAM. Now, with that being said, I actually used ChatGPT to create two images. This one and the second one was like now keep everything same. Just make the camera pan in on her upper body. Make sure the face is exactly the same. So this was the first image. This was the second image, and I took both of them. You can actually use ChatGPT or any other image generation to create two uh, frames. and then i i uploaded these so one thing uh, you can also do is that if you have a very powerful gpu you can also go with the one 2.1 fun 14 billion parameter this is 1.3 this is 14 the 14 billion parameter is extremely good and you will also get the gguf versions but the problem is uh, as you can see here this is 32.8 gb so uh, most of us would not have this much powerful gpu also one thing is that if you go to this link if you actually come to alibaba pai and you can see the first space is 12.1 fun 1.3 billion exactly they have created this space so you can try it out here as well this is slower and sometimes you will get error but uh, you can try to generate other than that let's come back to uh, generating the video locally so we have uploaded the first and the last frames right now the length is going directly here so i have selected 129 so this is the number of frames width and this is the height so you can select all of it here i have found that uh, it is pretty decent when you put these values and you can change them for landscape or portrait but the 1.3 billion parameter model can create pretty good results with this right and then what i did was i gave uh, an explanation of what i want ex exactly from the first frame to the last frame so you can see this is a wide shot of a woman uh, she is seated on the bed and then uh, you start writing about the camera panning the camera begins to slowly zoom in on her beautiful eyes and then some thing about postures and then you again like uh, you have to focus more on the camera movements always remember that and at last it is generally better to provide uh, some details about the first and the last frame which are common so here you can see a uh, off shoulder red knit dress and then there is like small red rose so what happens is that uh let's resume the preview yeah so you can see that the rose is intact other the, uh, if you would have not put these kind of things in the prompt then sometimes what happens is that you'll see in some frames the rose has vanished you know so uh, but give it at last your major focus should always be on the camera panning or the action that you are doing like it should be on the top part of your prompt and later on you can add extra details which are already present in the image we are putting it at last because the model is already getting an idea that there is this rolls here right we are just 
strengthening it with the prompt so we can give these kind of elements at last the thing which is lacking in these two frames is the type of camera action or if you are creating anything like if you want a car then how the car is moving so that would be on top so with that being said it is getting resized here and here you can see i have selected the crop center because most of the times what happens is that if you are uploading two images they would not be of exactly this particular height and width so we want we do not want it to get uh, like you know squished in proportion we want it to crop slightly you can see this is the cropped version and uh, this would be perfect because now the proportions and everything like the body proportions do not change so this is what we want and after that these are getting set here here you would be uploading your model so i have uh, renamed it to 1.3 billion inp you can see this one this diffusion pytorch model 3.13 gb you will have to rename it here and this is going to the tcache tcache you can if you want you can disable it it slightly speeds up the process so i find it uh, pretty good and these all are same if you have ever used any workflow of 1 to 1.1 previously uh, the clip the vae the clip vision everything is same and here you can see i have provided some negative prompts if you want you can play with it but uh, i see generally these uh, kind of work best so here all of it and then this is coming to this node now when you drag this uh, workflow here on comfy ui if you do not have this so i would suggest to update comfy ui and not restart from here and one another thing some people were uh, saying in my previous video that when you are using this update comfy ui it was not working so then i would suggest that you can directly go to the comfy ui folder and you will see there is uh, like one file executable file for update and start so you can use that or you can directly pull uh, from the github repo as well of comfy ui if this way is not working for the updates you will get this natively and if any of these nodes are missing here so you can go here install missing custom nodes and you can install all of them so that's it here you can see purge vram and purge cache purge models just means that it is going to like uh, release your vram one thing uh just for this video i was using steps of 16 here you can actually increase this if you want so uh, i have seen you will get pretty good quality if you can increase this to 22 or 24 but uh, obviously uh, you will get uh, like your the time will increase the generation time will increase but other than that i think anything after 16 before 16 you will get pixelation and different artifacts but uh, anything after 16 in steps is pretty decent at least uh, this is what i have noticed and here is the video combine now you can if you want you can save these and you can use this so this was it you can use the chat gpt to uh, create multiple different uh, images as you can see and firstly i would suggest that always write a very uh, lengthy and descriptive prompt in this one because in my previous control net workflow i all, uh, i know i mentioned that uh, prompt does not matter that much but in this workflow it matters heavily so if you are writing something in just one line there will be problem if even if this is a normal uh, camera panning you can write that the camera is zooming in go to chat gpt go to publicity any free ai that you have and ask it to enhance the prompt so you should give as much details as possible firstly of the subject second will always be the action that you want which will be joining the first and the last frame and at last you will give these small details this can be this hair band this rose types of uh, type of uh, bed sheet stuff like that which are already present in these images but you just want to strengthen it so that uh, there is no discrepancy in different frames once you do that you will get pretty good results compared to the size which is 1.3 billion so this is it uh, use it and if you have any kind of doubt or any kind of issue then put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you